canoe paddle is an instrument to, to move your canoe in the water. So I am Bruce Smith and I'm a paddle maker. And um, it's what I love to do. Make paddles, custom paddles for people and uh, put something, put a wand in their hands. That's my goal. You can divide it into four stages. One is, is the layout of the paddle. Deciding what kind of paddle you're going to make and how long you're going to make it. And then the second stage is to do the rough carving. After the rough carving, it comes the time of trying to make the paddle balance so that when you hold it here, it's balanced properly. It may be, mean taking material a little bit more off the wings of the blade and off the tip area down here, inside the tip here a little bit to remove some wood. We call that the fine carving stage. That's like getting your paddle like the way you want it, right? That, that instrument. So then the last thing is then the sanding, the finishing, and the oiling, or, the, or the, what comes after the finished carving. That's a 60, got great centered it's grain. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. It's a light piece of cherry, so it'll make a nice paddle. I think a canoe paddle, uh, out of all your equipment on a canoe trip, to me, um, in my experience, is the most important piece of equipment that you can have. Paddles in your hands for six to ten hours of paddling every day or sometimes even longer than ten hours. So it's got to be the right kind of fit for you. And if it's a if it's a customized work of art, it's just so much nicer in your hands than a clunker, you know. It's important to know that a well-made paddle will last a long time. I would be surprised if my paddles are not used by their grandchildren. Not just their children, their grandchildren. There's not one person that's exactly the same. Isn't that beautiful? And it's the same with, with a paddle that's made by hand.